Behold, these are mini bikes, and they have been exploding in popularity recently. She's in. She's on. She runs. Wow. Really? All right, this is a 72 volt Razor. Oh, wow. Oh my God. 6,000. Hold up. So what exactly is a mini bike? Their defining characteristic is their hilariously small frame and wheels. There are some small e-bikes you can buy, but for the most part, this is a different category of mostly self-built e-motos. And I could be wrong here, but I think Sir Ronster is mostly responsible for kicking off this branch of self-converted e-motos. So without further ado, I'm just going to take apart the entire bike and replace basically every part that isn't the frame and wheels. Now the most popular platform to do this conversion on is the Razer RSF650 and the MX650. And yes, this is the same company that built that scooter you had when you were 10. Now in terms of acquiring this bike, of course you can buy it directly from Razer, but you can also buy them on Amazon. That's kind of convenient. I'll leave them linked down below. But you do have to be aware that straight out of the box, these bikes are not very impressive. They are designed for children after all. So the MX650 and RSF650 both have a 650 watt motor, a 36 volt battery, and a blistering top speed of 17 miles per hour and 50 minutes of ride time, whatever that means. So yeah, these bikes are toys, they are made for children, but if you wanna have fun with them, you have to do some upgrades. And there's a couple of ways you can go about doing this. The first upgrade path is the easiest, and it's the way that Sir Ronster popularized. And this is simply buying the Electro and Company kit. You can select up to a 72 volt battery with an upgraded controller and upgraded motor. And with this configuration, you can expect around 35 miles an hour, top speed, and a lot more torque. Another path you can take in this upgrade journey is to buy the components yourself. It's really not that hard and you can save some money. This motor controller combo is only 300 bucks on Amazon and I often see it used in these mini Emoto conversions. This is rated for 50 amps of current. It's 3000 watts at 72 volts. And then of course you can pair this with really any battery you want. I'd recommend checking out one of my recent videos on batteries catching fire and exploding. It might help to guide you in your battery purchase. And finally, I've also seen some crazy people actually put high quality QS motors and Saviton slash BAC controllers on this thing. So your imagination is the limiting factor here. Right, so there is something special about having so much power in such a small, inconspicuous package that people find very addicting. There is even a small trend of people putting tiny 12-inch wheels on Surons. But just like with Surons, even though these bikes are small, cute, and fun, they are still illegal on most streets. Their small size does help to disguise their true potential, and it might pass as a toy in the eyes of law enforcement. But the reality is, they don't have pedals, and most official state laws do specifically outlaw mini bikes by name. So if you want to build one of these bikes, definitely research the laws in your local area and decide whether or not you want to take this risk. Because a lot of e-bikes out there are technically illegal, but people ride them on streets every single day. And the advantage these mini bikes have is their small toyish appearance. Even though after upgrading, they are high voltage systems with thousands of watts of power. Thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. Let us know in the comments, what do you think of these little e-moto conversions? I'd appreciate a like on the video before you go, even subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.